feel incredibly lucky to have been to the Amazon twice, working with Greenpeace to help people around the world learn more about the world's largest rainforest. The best way I can describe it is with the word life. It bursts with abundance, from the darkness of the forest floor to the orchestra of sounds above, interlocking and existing in a riot of evolution. Imagine a forest so vast, so full of detail and chaos that it appears to have a life of its own. One giant living being that shows itself from the smallest beetle to the mightiest tree. This abundance is a blessing and a curse. This region is so fertile that humans have begun to exploit it for short-term profit, looting the resources it contains to feed our never-ending desire for products. From the air, I've seen the impact that humans have had on the rainforest, carving huge brown chunks into the untouched green canopy like a chessboard. I was shocked not just by the size of the forest, but by the amount that has been lost already. I'm from Europe, which destroyed most of its natural forests hundreds of years ago. Brazil could choose to do the same, but a growing number of people are seeing that this path is the wrong way to treat the Amazon rainforest. There is a real debate here between those who want to cut and those who want to keep. Right now, Brazil's president is considering whether to veto changes to the country's forest code, a law that has protected the forest for decades. Greenpeace believes that this will be a critical moment for the Amazon and will signal the direction the country is headed for years to come. Dilma must veto the code and send a message to the world that Brazil has chosen the better path, one that protects this amazing natural asset and the people who live there. I've been on board the Rainbow Warrior for the past month to help get this message across. For the past week, we've been stopping a ship from loading pig iron bound for the USA. This commodity is a perfect example of the problem. Huge amounts of wood charcoal are needed to make it, which is destroying the rainforest and shrinking the land available to indigenous people like the Awa tribe. We've stopped it from entering port, and this blockade is really adding to the political pressure on Jilma in the capital. But the truth is, can't do it alone. We need help. Please search for our Brazilian friend finder on Facebook. Tell your friends. Visit the website. Help keep the riot of nature raging for all of us.